Alrighty, y'all, let's see if we can make dinner in five minutes. This is a recipe I've been making for years and years, and if I have some shrimp on hand, this is my go-to recipe because it is so, so simple, and you, I always have everything I need already in my pantry. So if you've got some shrimp, you're, it's likely you have everything. So what we need is, I've got two pounds of shrimp. You could definitely half this and do one pound because this is gonna feed about eight people. Um, one cup of butter, a fourth a cup of lemon juice, three cloves of garlic, a teaspoon of Worcestershire sauce, a teaspoon of soy sauce, some salt and pepper, and some angel hair pasta. You can use whatever pasta you like. My husband always loves the angel hair, so that's what we're gonna do. So this is two sticks of butter, which equals one cup. I've got my pot boiling for my angel hair pasta. So I'm not gonna be able to comment with y'all, but as soon as I get done cooking this, I will let y'all, I'll talk to y'all and we'll talk more about um, the recipe. This is from our new, brand spanking new, five ingredient box. And this is considered five ingredients, whoop, let's go here, um, because most of these things are staples. So really the only thing you have to purchase um, that's not on our handy dandy staple list in the box are your shrimp and your pasta. So that is it, y'all. We're gonna get going because my water is boiling and it's getting steamy and hot up in here. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put my water in first. I'll try to scoot and like see some comments because I wanna make sure y'all can hear because the pasta is loud. But I'm gonna put the pasta in. I'm gonna turn my butter up a little bit because I gotta put my shrimp in. So I'm doing 12 ounces of the angel hair, and that is about uh, three quarters of a box. And I'm gonna break mine so they're more manageable. Um, I have this pasta pot that I have planned to use, but I realized that it is already in use. So I'm gonna set my timer for five minutes. So here we go. So to my butter over here, I'm gonna add a fourth a cup Woo, I gotta turn that down, that, that got a little hot. A fourth a cup of lemon juice. Just some lemon juice, you could do fresh if you wanted to as well. And that would work. <clears throat> I'm also gonna add a lot of garlic, because that is what's gonna make this recipe. This is the shrimp and lemon, lemon butter sauce if y'all just popped on from our five ingredient or less box. Three cloves of garlic, so we're gonna be very generous with our garlic because we've got a lot of pasta to cover and my hubby loves him some garlic. And then I just need one teaspoon of Worcestershire and one teaspoon of soy sauce. All that sounds really weird, but I promise you it works. So I am not going to um, measure that, but it'll be good, good to go. So we're just gonna saute this for just like a second. Um, just enough for me to move it around because I gotta watch my pasta. Let me get all my utensils over here. Stir this around. And let's see, what do I want to use for my shrimp? I'll use this little guy right here. So now I need to turn this back up. And so as soon as I get the, all this incorporated, we are going to add our shrimp. Now let me tell y'all, if y'all are scared of shrimp, y'all, it is so easy and so fast. I'm telling y'all, uh, I bought the shrimp that's already um, de-veined and peeled, and so this is super easy. So this is my two pounds of large shrimp. It was $17.98, so that is a little bit of a splurge, but honestly, these days, this is gonna feed about eight people. So for 20 bucks, I have got dinner for about eight people. So I feel like that's, that's pretty good. So usually when you do shrimp, you just wanna cook one side for a couple of minutes and then turn it and cook the other side. This is a little stuffed, um, but it will be fine. Like I said, I've made this recipe a million times, so I feel very confident that it is gonna turn out wonderful. I've turned my heat up a little bit. So if y'all missed making a Valentine dinner and y'all love some shrimp, this would be a great thing for y'all to make tonight for your uh, Valentine. So I'm turning that back up. I've got this going, I'm turning that up. So now I can come over and see if y'all have any questions. Woo, so that is it y'all. I mean, this is so easy. So at the end, I'm just gonna drain the pasta, which I'm gonna show y'all. I'm letting my shrimp cook. I'm turning that up a little bit more too. So I hope this is not too boring. 
but <clears throat> Hey, Linda from Waco, and she said that Mary lives in Waco, too. Good morning, good morning. Um, do y'all have any questions so far about this recipe? Good morning, Roxanne from Virginia. It's good to see you this morning. I'm just going to see if y'all have any questions. Uh, Kathy is watching from Wayne, uh, West Virginia. Uh, Jeff and Elaine, Mel, no, Jeff and Melanie said, um, how much butter? It is, this is one cup. Now, if I was just making this for my husband and I, I definitely would half this because that, I usually don't do this big of a thing unless I have like a whole bunch of people coming, but I'm, I'm going to try to freeze this, honestly, because I'm going out of town tomorrow with my daughter who is turning 30. Sorry, Rachel, I'm telling everybody. Um, and we are going to New York. It's going to be so, so fun. So I'm making this up and this will last him a few days. So y'all tell me if y'all are on here and you love New York. We've both been before. It's been a little while for me, but we're hitting some of the highlights, but we're not going to hit all the highlights that we've been to before. So um, we are doing the 9-11 Museum. We have tickets to go see Wicked, which I'm super excited about because I haven't seen that one before. So, Sharon Mack is eagerly watching from West Columbia, Texas. Awesome, thank you so much. All right, I'm gonna start turning this shrimp because we do not, you do not want to overcook shrimp, y'all. It just gets rubbery and nasty. And like I said, if I had this evenly, I would try to turn them like one at a time, but you can do this kind of like a stir fry. Just make sure there's no gray. You want your shrimp to turn pink and you want them to curl up. You can see them curling here. Oh y'all, it smells good. Now, it is only 8.30 in the morning here. My timer's off, so my pasta's done, so I'm gonna scoot and drain that, and then I'll bring it back over here. Y'all keep watching the shrimp. Get in there, and I will be right back. Make sure that, I think that's a little hot. Turn that off. Okay, drain this over here. Fortunately, all of my my kitchen's very close together, so I am right here. Ooh, and it's steam on the glass. y'all with me but I'm afraid that uh, it would be like way too much y'all this is so close so my five minute dinner is almost done the other thing too if you put this in hot pasta this shrimp is likely to keep cooking a little bit longer um, but like I said we do not want it to overcook I'm gonna turn those so this is not a very low calorie deal I think it's like seven or six hundred and something calories but we did divide it only by six and like I said this will stretch out and you can definitely feed more and if you want to at the end you can pop some Parmesan cheese over the top and it will be perfect y'all this is almost done I'm just gonna give it like 30 more seconds <clears throat> good morning Amy from West Virginia I feel like you're the second person from West Virginia um, Tiffany says, lemon butter shrimp, but it has so much flavor from the other ingredients. Yes, it does. Good morning, Amy. Minnesota, Chris, one degrees. Oh my goodness, and a blizzard morning, y'all. It is 70 degrees here. Like, I am not lying, I'm sweating, because I, I have so much steam coming over here. All right, let me grab my, my um, pasta, and we will put all this together, and we'll turn my heat off. So this is just, oh, it's looking good. All right, got my pasta. And... All right, can y'all see? I don't want to put it back on the heat because I don't want that to scorch. But, and I thought about making my pasta ahead of time, but I really did not want it to get sticky. So here we go, y'all. 
And I just like to do it all in one pot. It's less clean up and we just serve it from the stove. But you could definitely, definitely put it in a fancy dish. I will plate it for y'all. Oh, y'all. I hope y'all can see down in there. I'll move it over here. I really don't want it to be too much on the heat though. Stir it up. There's a, a lot of shrimp in here, so you do get quite a bit of protein. Y'all, this is very, this is more runny than normal. Huh. Maybe I didn't add enough. I feel like I didn't. I have that much pasta left. I think I should have cooked a little bit more pasta, but it will be completely fine. Oh, y'all. It's a lot of shrimp. Okay. I'm gonna try, I'm gonna attempt to move y'all over um, so I can plate it up. So, give me a second. Let me move this over here. And, okay, hope I don't make y'all dizzy. There it is. I think y'all can see it. Yay! All right, let me plate this up for y'all. Um, this is from our five ingredient box. Y'all can see all, about, all the sweet little boxes back here. They're just hanging out. Someone came over the other day and they were like, what is all this stuff? <laughs> I was like, oh, this is what I do. Um, it's kind of, it's fun. But people are like, wow, that's really cool. I'm like, yeah, I've got a really cool job. Um, Y'all, I did not even look to see how much the five ingredient boxes. I think it's $42. So honestly, y'all, for less than what it's gonna cost you to eat out, we are calling this fast food February, or fight fast food February. So we're making up stuff every day to uh, try to not go through the drive through Okay, y'all, here we go. There are my little shrimp. Oh yeah. Like I said, this is a little juicier than it normally is because I think I didn't put enough pasta. There we go. There she is, y'all. I would sprinkle some Parmesan cheese, but I did not get it out. So this is so fast. It was a little over five minutes, but honestly, if you weren't on Facebook Live, you would have it five minutes, as long as you had all your stuff ready to go. So I think this is a fabulous recipe. I'm so excited to finally include it in one of our boxes. Like I said, I've been making it for years. Y'all look at that apron, it's so cute. Um, so if y'all are interested in the box, if you don't have it, or if you do have it, leave a review, please. We would appreciate that. Or a great comment if you've been enjoying the recipes for other people to see. So anyway, y'all go snag it. We also have the PDF, I believe it's $16.95 and it's 40 not 40, 60 main dish recipes and 12 desserts that are five ingredients or less with a few staples that you have on hand. It is excellent. Go make you some shrimp. Be all fancy tonight. Y'all have a great day and we will talk to y'all soon. Bye.